Excuse me, Agent Cruller? Clerk Cruller. Yes? How are you feeling? Busy. It's like nobody's been sorting the mail for days. Would you mind if I, uh, went inside your mind and sorted a few things out? Eh, I'm never opposed to anything getting properly sorted. Dear Ford, we brought peace to Grulovia, but there is still unrest among the people. A little ungrateful, I think. Home soon, Lucretia. There's a piece of Ford's mind in here for me to reconnect. It'll probably be up in that giant clunky head. Hey, I came out of that clunky head. Really? Can you help me get in there? Uh, maybe, to tell you the truth. I'm not addressed very well, so... I'm sure I'll be marked return to sender and sent back there soon. Just grab on. Did someone say return to sender? This letter's got no return address. I'm afraid that means the dead letter office for you. But wait, I'm a heartfelt love letter. Don't care who you caught it, the feelings must get sorted. <laughs> Too many letters, they just keep coming. What's the point? Nobody ever writes what they really mean. I wrote a letter once. Did I think I could stop a war? Bah, doesn't matter. I never sent it. Maybe it would have saved a thousand lives. Maybe just one. I wonder what would have happened if I'd sent that letter. I wonder if it's too late. this graveyard. I get you out of here. Will you still take me up to the head? Yes, but quick before he. Whoa! Ah! Oh, my mistake. This doesn't belong in the dead letter office. <laughs> Look at that address. It belongs in the international dead letter office. What? No, wait. Uh oh.
Just hold still. I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh, no. <laughs> Some that is are such a pain in the neck, they really belong in the furnace. Wait. I think I know how to address this one. Really? Well, it's worth a shot. But don't take all day. The mail must sail into tomorrow, no time to borrow. Boy, I hope you know what you're doing. Is that the missing typewriter key? Wisdom nugget. I need.
that's a key to the typewriter. I have all the keys I need to properly address this enemy. Yep. That's better. Now where are the rest? Is that the missing typewriter key? almost complete. Just one key missing. But where is it? I think I know who Ford would like to address this letter to. Maybe. Send that off and see what we get. You see? A mail just doesn't matter. This is a private mailbox. You aren't allowed in here. You've been missorted. You touch that, and it's a federal crime. What did you say in that letter? Nothing important, really. 
just that I loved her. She just wanted to help, but they, they pushed her too far. Well, how should we have known? It's not like she was marked fragile. But I thought I knew her and everything she held inside herself. Ah, I had so much to learn. I guess some packages are better left unopened. Rasputin. Agent Crawler, how do you feel? I've done a terrible thing. And so have you. But we just wanted to undo what Maligula did to you. Maligula didn't do this to me. That's the first thing I've learned in here. The rest, you're gonna have to see for yourself. Ford, what is it? See for yourself. Crawler, I'm getting less sure I want to see this. Oh no, I don't think you'll want to see this at all. Deep Six treatment. I did what I had to do. I loved her after all. Wait, what? Someday when you fall in love, you'll understand. Ford, whatever I'm supposed to know, just spit it out. I had to hide her from the world because they'd never forgive her. And I had to hide her from me because I'd never forget her. 
Where? Where did you hide her? She's with family. your grandparents, Laszlo and Morona. They drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster, remember? What? No! Grandpa Laszlo died there, but Grandma made it out and came to live with my father. No, Raz. She didn't. Ford, I just saw her today. No, you didn't. With Maligula? She was defeated, but alive. I snuck her away and put her in the astrobath. One of Otto's inventions. Created to make permanent alterations to the psyche. And I used it. I need the purse tag here. But I knew the world would never forgive her. So I had to hide her somewhere safe. Oh no. I hid her among her family, Rasputin. Among your family. No, no, no! I projected memories and feelings on your father so he would accept her. Accept Maligula? Yes. As your grandmother. No! Listen, Raz. I know you're mad. My great aunt killed my grandma. And so you made us babysit her for 20 years? Now look it. You spring this news on your family now, their memories will unravel, and there's no telling how they'll react. So? They might try to kill her. If Lucretia is attacked, if she feels the need to defend herself, that dark spirit could reawaken inside her. Maligula really could rise again. You're right to be mad, Rasputin. I was young. I made a terrible mistake. But we need to deal with that after we get control of this incredibly dangerous situation. She's not there. Probably wandered off into the woods again. She keeps doing that. I know where she's going. The Psychonauts started out here, in the heart of the forgetful forest. There's a compound deep in these woods, protected from intrusion by psychic devices, traps, and illusions. I think Lucy's trying to get in, trying to go home. Remember, mad later. Mission first. Now stick close. I'll show you how to get through. Agent Cruller? I hope I didn't lose him in the woods. Wow. It's really all still here. The Great Needle Gulch. So much history here. I mean, this is where you assembled the team that would become the Psychonauts. This is where you first discovered Citanium. 
where Otto made his first psychoactive devices, where Cassiopeia wrote her books, where Helmut Fulbear workshopped his psychodacy, where Bob Zanotto and Compton Bull pioneered communication with plants and animals, and where, where, I mean, this is where it all began. No, Raz. This is where it all ended. Do you know where you are? What can you tell me about this place? I... Oh, I think... I think I used to keep the cinnamon over there. Oh, we don't have much time. Her old memories are coming back. What's going to happen? Listen, Raz. This compound... We got into some pretty far-out stuff here. I've read about... The kind of stuff they don't write about in true psychic tales, okay? We all pushed each other to go farther, to broaden our consciousness, to open every closed door in our minds. It made us defenseless, psychically. But we were in a safe place here. We had each other. Then her homeland was attacked. She insisted on helping. I begged her not to go in that condition, so vulnerable. Ah, uh, war brought something out in her that... Should have been locked away. Maligula. After the deluge, I brought her back here and closed those doors again with Maligula on the other side. How? With the astrolath. A powerful tool we developed to make alterations to our psyches. That doesn't sound safe. Ah, you wouldn't understand. It was an age of exploration. But you're right. We were messing with powers we didn't understand. And now I have to clean up this mess. But I'm not the psychonaut I used to be, Rasputin. I need your help. What do you need me to do? First, I need you to go to the Heptodome and prepare the astrolathe. Will I stay here and keep a close watch on her? Be right back, Nona. Away from the river, booty! Aha! I knew I had some chewing tobacco hidden in here. Is that straight thoughts I'm picking up? This is where the first Psychonauts met. And this must be the Astrolabe. Well, I'll just turn this thing on then. Well, those are thick and thorny. I'm gonna need a little help here. This is where they sat! I'm not touching that thing again until I get rid of the bees and vines. Check out these new time bubble pins.
Cyclops will keep you in the fight. There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. Oh, great. Bees love me. Is that the real Theo Mobile? Wow! This must be Helmet's Theo. The Theo Mobile needs a tune up and a car wash. And actually, it smells like there's a skunk family living in there, so never mind. to take a spin in the brain tumbler? Actually, I don't want to go to the collective unconscious right now. Hello? You! Green Needle Witch! You don't exist! You're just something someone put into my mind. Which means... There's probably a very powerful psychic nearby. Another hallucination! A very... Solid! Hallucination! Oh man... Are you going to cast a spell or something? Who are you? How did you get in here? And where was our security, eh? Cassiopeia? Author of Mind Swarm? Ford Cruller brought me through security. Ford? Ford Cruller? Came back? Oh, I knew it! I knew he would. But I'm not ready. I've been trying to fix this place up for him, but, but you know these bees are so demanding. Ford wants me to turn on the astrolathe, but it's covered in, well, really angry bees. Know anything about that? Oh, I think I can help you with that. I'm just happy to be useful again. Get out of my way. Ford needs me. Oh, I can tend to the queen later. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. She says I can't talk to you anymore. Wait! Cassie! Who's she? I do not love bees. 
You know, if you sting me, you'll die. I think. Cassie? Shh, they'll hear you. Cassie, would you sign my copy of Mind Swarm? I was wondering when you were going to ask. It took you so long. Thanks, Cassie. So, are you the Green Needle Witch? What? Why would you say such a thing? Because you're so pointy. Those are pine needles. They stick to the honey on my suit. I can't help it. Because you lurk through the woods in the dark. I do my beekeeping at night because this darn bee suit is so hot. Because you're so tall. Okay, well, I do wear lifts in this thing so I can reach the upper hives, but my beekeeper doesn't do that. No reason. Well, I'll admit, I have been playing into the legend a little bit. Why? I need to keep people away from here to protect it. This is a sacred place. Would you mind if I snuck a peek inside your mind? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went away. Hello? Cassie? Bees? Cassie? I... It's okay, I know why you're here. Now, to whom shall I dedicate this inscription? Not that many people find their way in here these days. You must have a good head on your shoulders. Uh, definitely a big one. Now, just imagine what you could do if you were using 175% of your brain! Actually, Cassie, I need your help with something else. We're on a critical mission, but there's a swarm of bees that's making it impossible. Stop right there, young man. Nothing is impossible. If you follow the 25 simple steps I've outlined in my book. Now then, let's go show these bees what we can do when we put our minds together. There's that pesky little volume. Thank you, young man. I have been looking for this silly book forever. Wait, she was going to help me. What? This one? <laughs> oh, I'll admit the author was helpful once, when we needed the money to leave the country, but that was a long time ago. But when the chips were down and we needed to fight to protect our friends? Ah, worthless. Is there another Cassie book in there that could help me? They are all restricted. Hmm. Then again, maybe I could help you. If you were to help me. There are two other books missing from my collection. Dangerous books. These are the books that got us into this horrible situation. These are the wrong books, you understand? Round them up for me. Take them out of circulation. They are overdue. Understand? Then you'll help me with the bees? I'll help you with the whole alphabet, Sonny.
Let me find these books. I'm her favorite assistant and best assistant, and I already looked, so give it up. Not a child. No. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Sensors know when something's wrong. Kill the dogs that don't go wrong. Seriously? of my peaceful lake for this? Having fun? Getting pretty sore, actually. This thing doesn't even have a saddle. Hi, I'm Raz. And I am the Lady of the Lake, helper of knights on noble missions. Ooh, I'm on a noble mission. Can you help me? Sorry, already gave my sword to a handsome knight fighting a dragon. What's the 
the axe for? Bookworms. They hate my family. Hi. What's your name? Guten Tag. Ich bin Gerda, the Pretzelmeister's daughter. Ooh. Where's the Pretzelmeister? Papa fell into the pretzel machine. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. Not to worry. It was his secret wish. Really? I think so. That's why I pushed him. I don't want to use the thought tuner while I... Saipas. Delicious and packed full of mental energy. Wait a second. I don't remember being in this book. Cassie, you gotta watch out. There's a giant, uh, you out there hunting for you. Don't worry, young man. The librarian can't get in here. That's why she sends in her operatives. Who, me? I'm not an operative. I'm just playing along with her until I find the real Cassie. The real Cassie? Tell me, child, what is your name? Rasputin. And tell me, who is the real Rasputin? The one you are with your friends? With your family? Or the one you say for your special someone? Hmm? Is that the real you? Or are you actually a combination of all those different identities? Important challenges in our lives can cause us to create entirely new identities for ourselves, sometimes summoning powerful archetypes from our unconscious mind. The hero, the explorer, the shadow. My special talent allows me to summon up whatever archetype I need to survive my current situation. Would you like me to teach you how? Focus your minds up. Play on a vision of the archetype you need most right now. Oh, well, very good. Woohoo! You'll get better with practice. archetype will act on its own sometimes, but you can also focus it on a specific task. How's it going? Mm, feeling a bit wet. <laughs> I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. Hey, oh, what's look that at him there? go! So cute! Ew, dusty! That's the spirit! What a good boy! See where this little fellow takes you! I'll meet you at the end, and then hey, I know you. I'll tell you my Aren't plan you for the, the librarian. The an introduction? Yes, yes, always nice to meet a fan. No time for autographs, though, sorry. Wow, conceited. Please excuse me, I have a lot of thinking uh... to do. Yeah. <laughs> 
Archetyping gets away with it. So There's some emotional baggage. Hey, do you bite people? Periodically. Sup, clone? Aw, that's cute. My clone thinks he's real. is Hmm, 
Thank you for the mental energy, Psyhop. Better eat a Psypop. There's the mental energy I need. Thanks, Psypop. Ah, you made it! He helped! Seeing you two work together so well really inspired me. And it gave me an idea. We need to get all of Cassie's archetypes together, round up all the runaway books, and give them to the librarian. But she'll lock you all up. Oh, don't worry. We won't be in them. We'll be with you. Now, go find the others. Hurry! Ah, the teacher's edition. We all learned so much from this one, but... We can't have her making up new identities and confusing things right when I'm getting everything sorted. Can we? No, we can't. Just one more book to go. You're right on the edge of becoming my favorite assistant. The battle with Maligula must have brought this librarian to power to make Cassie feel safe. I think I should help Cassie get her aspects back in balance. Confusion now has made his masterpiece. Easy squeezy. Hey, are you William Shakespeare? Forsooth, etc. Oh, wow. You really talk that way. No, I just like to give the fans what they want. Huzzah.
I think I just jinxed it. She works in here, but be careful. This is the shop of Fanny Flats, the famous counterfeiter. Cassie works for a counterfeiter? I work for myself, but I do what I need to survive. After our parents dumped us here, we needed an archetype that was a little more mm, thick-skinned. Cassie, we've come to bust you out. Did someone say bust? What was that? Huh? Shh! Never say bust in here too loudly. But it's true. We have a plan. Oh, hey, Teach. Listen, now's not a really good time. Flats has a big deal coming up, and she's really on edge. And I'm working on my ticket out of here. Can we help? Listen, don't tell anyone, but the cops are closing in on this place. The boss's days are numbered. I cut an immunity deal for myself. I just need to get them some evidence they can use against the big gal. But she's watching everybody like a hawk these days, and I can't get away. We'll do it. I'll get the evidence you need, and we'll b we'll briskly walk out of here together. Okay? Deal. But remember, never double cross a double crosser. Okay. I need three pieces of evidence. Better split up. Wait, who am I talking to? <gasps> wow, this carving is beautiful. Why, thank you. We would have done more, but we got full. <clears throat>
good. They're under that enabler's protection. market is clean. For a fish market, I mean. But just dirty enough to have some juicy evidence, I'll bet. Don't eat trout, or you'll get gout. Carp seasoning. Put catfish in shoes to cure flat feet. Carp keychain. Eat catfish for a healthy brain. Carp sweaters, carp leashes, ferment fish. My catfish is bothering and sweet and easy to eat. Cop for pet. Stinking fish. Fish will make you taller. Cop air freshener. Fermented fish. Packs a bunch. Cop chains. Rotten fish. My catfish is bothering and sweet and easy to eat. Cop. I'll have some catfish, please. One catfish ish coming up. Catfish ish. It's so close to catfish, you can't taste the difference. Never mind. Terribly old and rotten fish here. Catfish here. This looks like evidence of something. I think that's the best evidence I'll find in this part of town. I should check out the other neighborhoods for more.
right now. Excuse me. Another day, another dollar. to do any damage. Those guys just went out of print. Wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah, collecting evidence. I've got to stop saying that so loudly. <sighs> This hat box needs a hat box tag.
Good thing I had that dream fluff. No. I need three pieces of evidence. Two more pieces of evidence, please. Hey, seen any evidence around here? Nope. If I did, I'd remember. I'm an elephant. I noticed. Notice what? That you're an elephant. Yeah, I am. What about it? Smell some ripe evidence nearby. Better investigate. Why do I have to do all the hard work? This looks fishy. Better take it as evidence. Just one more piece of evidence to find. So pretty, so wise.
sure. You just take it easy, big guy. Okay, time to gather evidence. and criminy. I think that's all the evidence Cassie needs. I got all the evidence I need. Better bring it back to Cassie quick. all the evidence we could get. Think it's enough? Let me be the judge of that. Oh, yeah. This is some hot dirt right here. We'll be able to blackmail her with this for years. Blackmail? I thought you were going to arrest her. What? How is she going to make the money she needs to pay us from jail? But if she's not locked up and she finds out I was the one who sent her up the river... Hey, don't worry. We'll, uh, protect you or something. Let's beat it. This was a bust. What? Bust? No! It's a bust! Ah! Ah! Ew. Not a chapter of which I am particularly proud. Hey, she was forced into the outlaw life. Not that part. I just meant... Nobody likes a snitch. There you are, all safe and sound again. Thank you, young man. You were a little loud for my liking, but you got the job done. And now you'll help me with those bees? Oh, are you scared of bees? Well, I know of one place where you'll feel completely safe. Hey! Put me down! Of all the double-crossing... This was all part of the plan. It was? Yep. And I thought I was the tricky one. Oh my, we've come to a bad place. No, it's perfect. How is it perfect? Any place is perfect. When we're all together. Well, I haven't seen you in a while. We should never have let her split us up. When we're together, nothing is impossible. Well, that tears it. I hate to damage a book, of course. But that last line was too corny, even for a motivational speaker. We're not going to let you control us anymore. Oh, and which one of you thinks you should be in charge? None of you could stop Maligula. None of you could protect your friends. I am the real Cassiopeia. And I'll show you how we fight off a foreign invader. Get ready for the shushing of your life! Help me out here, will you? I'm having a bad day. Yeah! Yeah! 
I can write a better ending to this story. What's going on? Who's in here? Hello, Cassie. You? The self-righteous little writer? What are you doing in here? We writers are most effective when we get inside someone's head. department. Your knees. That was a, what my 
Lion Swarm would say about this situation is... Throwing things in a library? No, oh, no. Something's not right. In fact, you could say something stinks. You! Oh, no. I can't handle all three of you at once. That's kind of the point. Ready, gals? I'm ready. Together now! I can't believe I failed. Again! I guess, I guess I'm not the real Cassie. Yes, you are. And so am I. Me too. Mostly when we need money. Hey, I'm pretty good in a fight. You might have noticed. Hi. Uh, are you the real Cassie? Hmm, not sure. But I'm sure she's in here somewhere. Now then, did you say something about my bees? Oh my, they really aren't behaving, are they? That's it. I'm all out of bee puns, I promise. Think you can do something about them? I'll try. But I feel like I've... lost a little control of them. Oh, how I wish my old partner were here. I think they just need a nap. Oh, Bully! How did you know I needed you? A little bird told me. Oh, sorry, I should say three little bees. Well then, think we can get this swarm to stand down? I do. Bedtime for bees. So, how's production? Jars of honey and no one to give it to. Come on. Okay, scary part's done. Now I just have to get rid of those vines somehow. 